What's the worst gift you ever received? A rubber Hulk Hogan figurine. It looked like it was a Christmas ornament with the loop snipped off, glued to a very effeminate toy horse. An elderly friend of the family gave it to me and wouldn't stop mentioning how they are supposed to look like that. That's how it came from the store even though I didn't voice any doubts. It's also kind of the best gift I ever got. My uncle gave me a Xbox Live Points card for my birthday. When I went to redeem it. It said card not activated. This happened two years in a row until my mom told him about it. He stole them. The cards aren't activated until you pay for them at the till. Expire chocolate. Christmas. From an aunt who was a chronic regifter. Yet always expected expensive. Top notch gifts for her children on Christmas and their birthdays. Not only was the chocolate expired. But it was also evident that it had melted completely and resolidified. When I noticed. I went up to her with omg this chocolate is so good. You have to try it. In front of the whole family. I watched her unwrap a piece of chocolate and when she noticed how it looked. She was hesitant to eat it. And she looked at me. I just had a smile on my face it's the best chocolate ever. Full stop. And then I watched her slowly bring it to her mouth and try to eat it. She quickly walked to the kitchen immediately afterwards. I think I've only seen her once since that moment almost 9 years ago. A Ziploc bag filled with cotton balls with the words ghost poos written on the bag and sharpie. Edit. Whoa. This kind of took off. Thanks for the gold. Whoever you are. Brother got a pocket knife in a small cylinder package. Old toilet paper roll. Wrapped like candy. Excited. I started unwrapping mine that looked similar. Underwear. All of it underwear. And once a bathroom faucet. That is when I knew childhood was over. My friend's wife gave me a copy of A Night Without Armor. A book of poetry by Jewel. Not that I actively dislike Jewel or anything. But it was so clearly something she saw on a discount gift rack the day of my birthday and said yes. This is an object. A pine cone from a family member. It now gets passed between me and my friends as a gag gift. There is a 13-15 year old fruit cake still wrapped in its tin that's been in my family as a gag gift. It hasn't molded. At all. It looks like the day it was bought. It makes me scared to eat fruit cake. One year on my birthday I got $15 cash from my parents. They said it was so I could buy pogs. We then went to a store where my dad said the pogs were a good price. I went in and bought the only kind they had. And apparently they were expensive. My parents then scolded me for spending all $15 on only this many. Full stop. My dad was the one that said the price was good at this store. I ended up feeling really guilty because I assumed we were hard up for money and I wasted $15. My brother's birthday is exactly 2 months after mine. He had a party with a lot of friends over. And my dad bought him a $25 nerf gun. This was over 20 years ago. But still hurts my feelings lol. My husband got two rolls of pennies from my grandma for Christmas that same year she gave my mom. A non-smoker. A tin of tobacco. When my mom complained she gave her a calendar that was 3 years old. My son got a hairbrush wrapped in a Pringles can. He was too and cried because he really wanted the chips. Haha. <laughs> I hit the jackpot. I got a bottle of vodka. She always gave us weird gifts it was her thing. Now that she's gone I miss seeing what Christmas gifts she would be bringing. It was a good laugh. For my husband's 50th birthday. His parents gifted him the deed to his own cemetery plot. One for me. Two. Dot. An expensive. But poorly timed gift. When I was a wee 7 years old. My grandmother placed a long skinny box with my name on it under the Christmas tree about a week before the holiday. For the next 7 days. My small self drooled over the idea of a play baby stroller folded up in that box. Just waiting to be filled with various stuffed animals. On that magical morning. I ripped the box open only to discover it was a vacuum cleaner. Not a toy one. Either. A real life. Serious. 
small vacuum cleaner. She claimed that she thought it was a great idea because I loved cleaning when I visited her house. That's because you're basically a hoarder and your house is disgusting. Granny. My parents told me they were getting a divorce on my 16th birthday. Mill gave my one year old daughter her dead dog's bed as a Christmas present. She said it was for my daughter's naps. About a week into a dating a girl she bought me a feeble mouse that she named as a combination of her name and mine. Mouse lasted longer than that relationship. And that poor bastard only lived 11 days. I got a used gift card once. My mom is from Thailand and doesn't really get the whole Christmas thing. Last year she got me sore throat medicine. I didn't have a sore throat. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. I also forgot this story. She once got me around 50 tiny vacation mouthwashes for my birthday. Someone told her kids these days drink them to get drunk and it was my 21st. They've actually come in handy and I use them from time to time. My aunt insists on giving me Norton antivirus software. The kind you get in a box. She has gifted this to me on 4 separate occasions. She's funny about it though. Usually a card inside saying something along the lines of given what you do with your computer. E I will visit my parents house today to search for what now is physical representations of my fake internet points. My aunt tried to re-gift the bracelet and earrings I had bought for her a few months earlier to me. It was insulting to hero pixie. I got these especially for you. In a saccharine voice. Funny part is that she forgot we even gave it to her considering my brother and I were the only people in the family that remembered her birthday and even bothered to do anything about it. Bitch. I had a technology teacher from freshman year until senior year. I would help him out when he wasn't my teacher and he was a few years away from retirement. For some reason I woke up one day and knew it was his birthday so I got him a card and had all the other teachers in the department sign it my junior year. He said it was the first time in all his years that anyone at work remembered it was his birthday and got him something. I don't know why but your post made me think of that. My brother gave me a hand turkey that he drew minutes earlier for Christmas. This would have been okay if he was 5 or something. He was 21 years old. I framed it and gifted it back to him the next year. When I was about 12 years old. I mowed lawns to earn a bit of money for myself. And I spent many months saving up to buy a Game Boy Advance. I loved this thing. And I played it incessantly for hours every day. Two months later. On my little brother's birthday. They bought him a Game Boy Advance game just the game cartridge. He didn't have a Game Boy. Needless to say. I was frustrated. Because this meant that I was forced to share my Game Boy with him. And when I was visibly salty about it. My parents told me to stop being selfish. It's not that I didn't want to share with my brother. But it was shtty why that they bought him a gift that he could not use without borrowing my prized possession. And when I expressed my annoyance. They made me feel guilty about it. This message was deleted with a script. Because someone doxx'd me after I posted something mean about Hillary Clinton. Thanks dude. So they gave you the gift of PTSD. Socks and a skirt. As I then turned to see my brother open his remote controlled spy car. My mill gave me a full size bed to use for my son that her grandmother had just died in. Like two days prior. It even had bodily fluid stains from the corpse. But they cleaned it with Lysol. Edit. Wow I never expected all these upvotes. Okay. Some backstory. The bed was bought one month prior to her death. It was bought so she could sleep her last couple years in comfort. The mattress is super nice and was expensive. My in-laws are wealthy because they are incredibly cheap. When the old lady died so suddenly of natural causes, she was in her 90s. They just couldn't bother throwing it away. Since my son needed his first real bed we were given the death bed. I had it professionally cleaned before he ever slept on it and I still use a mattress cover. It's been almost 3 years now and we still have it. My son will never know. My grandma used to be the worst gift giver. She's gotten better. Some gems. 
a brick from a building that was torn down. One drumstick, for my dad. Who had never played drums. A Harry Potter sign for the release of the first movie. Not a nice one. And again for my dad. Who hates Harry Potter. A bunch of Twilight stuff for my husband and I after the movie came out. Including a shirt with Edward's face on it for my husband. I gave my friend a fifth of gentleman Jack Daniels for his birthday. Which was about a week before mine. A week later. He gave me a half empty bottle of gentleman Jack Daniels. Wrapped up and everything. I don't drink. He literally gave you a lifetime supply of Jack Daniels how is this bad? Well the worst gift I ever had was actually because it was very heart wrenching. When my great aunt was starting to really go senile. She began writing down every date that was important to her. And she had written down my birthday. The gift she got me was a dog leash. Some tennis balls and several other dog toys because she remembered my parents were getting a dog on my birthday. Which she happily talked about as I opened the large box containing everything. I did my best to smile and pretend to be happy for that sweet woman. Even though we had gotten Delilah last year and she had been run over and died 3 weeks before I opened that present. The Christmas after my mum died I got an alarm clock as my present. Her husband said it was so I might wake up in the morning now and actually contribute something. Apostrophe. Still salty 8 years later. He's dead now though. So who is the real winner? Should have put the clock in his casket and have it set to go off at the funeral. Recommended one liner. Wake up and contribute. A lap dance from a stripper on my 19th birthday that I ended up having to pay for. If you had to pay for it. It was not a present. I actually have three of these and I can't pick just one so I'll list them all. Once I got a used pair of pants with what I think was a poo stain in the butt area. I've also received hamster treats. Great grandpa thought they were trail bars. Which still would have been a sucky gift. And lastly I received stress ball from my baby cousin. That was actually just a ziplock bag full of his prescribed itch cream that was duct taped shut. It blew up. For my wife's 30th birthday I organized a surprise party. Supper at the local pizza place, her favorite. Then bowling. Then a movie. For my 30th she told me to go out and buy myself a cake. When I came home her parents had shown up to partake and said cake. I had to go out again for soda. There was no cake left when I got back. Edit. My wife is actually a wonderful person. Everyone makes mistakes. Edit 2. The cake was a small one. I figured since it was just the two of us a 6 round one would be enough. Also. Thank you for the gold kind stranger. I got a gift card to Burger King while working at Burger King from a manager who drew my name for Secret Santa. It was literally useless because none of us actually paid for food in the first place. A partially used soap on a rope from my parents. From my age of 15-16. I lived with my father. Who was a hippie FCK. There was no possession in his house rancid trailer. So everything that me and my sister owned. He owned. Everything he owned. I owned. And so forth. We got ourselves socks and underwear for our communal birthday. It was the median date between all of our birth dates. Since it was just me, a male, my father, and my year younger sister. She had to deal with wearing men's clothes, underwear, comma for a year. No. My dad did not claim ownership over tampons. Nor did I. TBH when we got back to our mom's I was so glad to not f king share a meal that I ate so much so fast and threw up a gazillion hot pockets and chicken alfredo. I haven't seen my dad since then. Right I'm going to sound super ungrateful here but when I was 12 my mum gave me a DVD player for Christmas. Thing is. I'd never expressed any sort of desire for one. That Christmas. My mum's boyfriend bought her a load of DVDs for Christmas. She obviously told him that she had bought me a DVDs player. They were all age restricted DVDs so when I asked if I could watch them she told me that I was too young for them. 
The DVD player went straight in her bedroom to go with the TV my dad had bought me the previous Christmas. I didn't receive any DVDs that year either. I know it's a totally first world resentment but it just kind of hurt how she pretended it was for us to watch films together. Edit. My mum's alright now. And she's actually a wonderful person. She just had terrible decision making skills when I was a teen. Comma I'm going to sound super ungrateful here. Nope. That's some pretty cynical shti there. My entire family is. For the most part. A bunch of truly f ked up people. As a child one year for Christmas I got socks and underwear and nothing else from my grandmother. All of these items were from Goodwill, yes. Used underwear. That same year. My grandmother got the other cousins three wheeler ATVs. Atari. And stuff costing thousands of dollars. I was devastated. Well. It technically was a delayed gift. So at the time I thought I was getting nothing. Policy on my mom's side of the family is to get gifts for just the nieces and nephews. So it's Christmas. I'm about 12 stroke 13. We're at my grandparents house. And it's just my parents and my mom's sister's family there. Since her other siblings couldn't make it. So all the gifts are passed out. And afterwards I realize I didn't get anything from my mom's sister's family. So I have one card from my grandparents. While my cousins are opening two or three gifts apiece. Because for some reason they also brought the gifts from their parents to open. I just sat there quietly while present unwrapping commenced. In the car ride home my mom realized I hadn't gotten anything. Later she gave me a gift card she said came from my aunt. But yelled at me when I questioned why no one had told me they'd forgotten it. But I'm not bitter or anything. Parents gifted me permission to buy myself an Xbox. For context. My older brother received both Pokemon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. My older stepbrother received a PS3 and and two games for it. My younger stepsister received a DS plus a DVD player and a new TV. I got a monster truck DS game as a capstone. I didn't even have a DS. They were very much aware of this as well. Because they cheerfully pointed out when my stepsis opened hers that I was the last kid to not have one. F king assholes. I appreciate any gift. But the way they said it sounded like f king gloating. Also. Just to fck me over further. They bought my brother another DS. His old one was fine. Two. Before finally buying me one. Sorry about the rant. We had a secret Santa at school once. My best friend, since fallen out for other reasons, had me. He acted like he knew who had me and asked me what I wanted. I wasn't popular or anything so it's believable no one would know what to get me. I don't recall what I told him but the day of the event I was sick and stayed home. He came by later that day and it turns out his gift to me was a toy boxing glove he took from his toddler brother's toy box. Not even a pair. This was an 8th grade. Everyone else got nice tea. When I was a teen at my nan's for Christmas lunch my nan bought all my other cousins, all teenagers, cool presents but for me just donated money to charity on my behalf. That was my present. I felt bad for being pissed off. Cause you know. Charity. But I knew she did it cause she didn't like me as much. This is passive warfare. My aunt Tina used to save me crumbling. Dry. Half muffins from her assisted living cafeteria. Wrapped in a napkin. I never ate a single one. They all went in the trash because they were gross. But she was poor and we tried to visit that feisty broad whenever we could. She didn't have much. But she always saved me half her muffins. I miss you. Tina. A gift card for Blockbuster. This year. A single sock. Now you're a free elf. I got a card. Nothing. I flew to visit my father. Stepmother. And half sister for Christmas. I was college broke but I made sure to choose thoughtful gifts for each of them. As they're opening them and thanking me I slowly realize they hadn't gotten me anything. Not a single present or card or even hand me down type thing. 
Meanwhile they're exchanging expensive gifts and my half sister is incredibly spoiled so it was all such a bummer. Thanks dad. When I was 5 for my birthday I got a toaster so I could make mum and dad breakfast in bed. For my 6th birthday I got a waffle maker for the same reason. For my 7th birthday I got an electric beater to help me make waffles for breakfast in bed. The fact that this went on for 3 years is utterly bizarre to me. My friend mailed me a dragon DLDO in the mail last year for my birthday. I was 15 and my parents watched me unwrap the present only to find a throbbing scaly cock in the box. My dad got me a book called How to Be a Lady. This would suck as a gift regardless of what gender you are. It occurs to me. My brother gave me a hair straightener. My head had been shaved for a year by that point.